Yo, what's up, y'all? Today I want to talk about processing sound and how I put everything through my SP404 from my 1000 or my 2000 or even my DAW. This fly is driving me crazy. <laughs> Sorry. Most of the work in heavy lifting is done from the SP404 and the tape machine. So I used a compressor in my SP404 and I have an example here for you today uh, so I can show you how it sounds. Now uh, this particular beat that I made was made on FL Studio so I do have it in the uh, SP404 with the compression on it already. The beat in FL Studio that I made is gonna sound as good as you know the sound you use. You know what I mean? I could show you this all day, but it just depends on what sounds you use. I put everything that I make on any of this equipment into the SP404 and throw on that vinyl compressor. Every time. The vinyl compressor on the SP404 OG is uh, dope. So let me go ahead and show you all this song that I have. Mind you, it already has the compression of the SP404 in the beat. Here it is. So what you just heard was the beat playing from the SP404 using the SP404 compressor. I tracked out the whole beat from my DAW into the 404 and then from the 404 with the compressor active goes into the Yamaha and then from the Yamaha into my RT707 tape machine. So I use the uh, tape machine more as like a limiter. I guess you could say, or like a driver. I don't know what you want to call it or what you would call it. So I know you dudes that are actual audio engineers are probably going to look at this video and be like, don't do what this fool is doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I'm just like literally putting compression on all my beats, running it through a mixer into my RT707 tape machine and just driving the gain until the needles aren't even moving. You know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of people are probably going to think like this fool is just squashing mixes or whatever you want to call it. I don't care. But if you were to take any of these beats that I'm making in this little setup I got here, uh, they bang in the car. So <laughs> whatever. I don't care. One thing I've realized about mixing music, which I do mix music for local bands and have done stuff in the past and I will do stuff in the future for local bands and um, honestly I feel like uh, mixing is a very weird thing you know because it's all about taste and uh, if one person doesn't like your mixes you know there's probably several people that aren't going to like your mixes I noticed that my setup that I have here I really like the way that it's going I mean it doesn't cause me any problems. I listen to it in the car. It sounds good. I listen to it in headphones. It sounds good. You just also have to be mindful that like uh, nothing can just be processed through gear and sounds good. Like that's just not how things work. It's not how things are ever going to work because uh, you need to have good sounds. You need to still get rid of frequencies in certain sounds in a mix so that you don't muddy it up and make it sound like ass. You know, you still got to do all these things. You don't have to get this same tape machine to get that monitor tape drive. You don't need that. Most of the time, I don't even use the tape. I just basically use the uh, converters that are in the machine to drive the sound to give it distortion uh, but good distortion, not the bad, the good distortion. That way it creates harmonics. This, uh, this nice 
sound and it's warm uh just get a good get a good tape machine you know what i mean get a get you a nice tape machine and uh sp404 or a compressor and I start experimenting, man. I mean, you can get the 404 and a RT-707. I'm just not going to promise you that everything's going to sound good in it because that's not how it works. It don't work like that. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for checking out this video. Much love. Peace.